Plan now for the Perseid meteor shower. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. And I'm Marlene Hidalgo, science teacher from Miami-Dade County, Florida. And we've got good news and some even better news. The good news is that the Perseid meteor shower, traditionally the best meteor shower of the year, will peak Monday night, August 12th, through Tuesday morning, the 13th. But the even better news is that the waxing crescent moon will set before midnight and give us nice dark skies for watching the Perseids. And the reason we're giving you two weeks warning is because we want you to have plenty of time to plan ahead. Let's show you how to watch. Okay, we've got our sky set up for Sunday night to Monday morning, August 12th, between midnight and sunrise, facing northeast. And although it's summertime, don't be surprised to see some of winter's brightest stars. Close to the horizon is Orion the Hunter, Taurus the Bull, Gemini the Twins, and up to your left, the dimmer stars of the mythical hero Perseus, for whom this meteor shower is named. But first, we'd like to get a couple of things straight. And that is that we personally, strongly dislike the term meteor shower. We much prefer the term meteor sprinkle, because at the peak of almost any meteor shower, the most meteors you can expect to see are about 50 to 100 per hour. Except, of course, for extremely rare occasions when all heaven breaks loose and thousands can be seen. But those are rare, rare, unexpected occasions. So if you're prepared for the fact that during a good meteor shower, you may have a chance to see 50 or so meteors streak across the sky during the course of an hour, that's one every minute or so, then the Perseids is the shower for you. Wonder why they're called the Perseids? Well, meteor showers are always named for the constellation from where the meteors appear to originate. But in case you've forgotten what a meteor is, let's have Dean take you into space and explain. Meteors are flashes of light we see when tiny specks of space debris slam into our Earth's atmosphere and light up. You see, every time a comet visits our sun, it sheds tons of debris at its path. And eventually, this debris gets spread out along the comet's path. Now, if our Earth plows into this path of comet debris, these tiny pieces of comet litter will slam into our Earth's atmosphere, traveling many miles per second. The particles themselves are far too small to be seen, but the friction of these particles hitting the air causes the air surrounding them to heat up and make visible streaks of light. And we call these streaks of light meteors, or incorrectly, falling stars. The meteors we see during the Perseid meteor shower each August are debris from a comet named Swift Tuttle and our Earth plows through its debris-filled path at the same time every August. It is one of the oldest recorded meteor showers in history and has been seen every August for over 2,000 years. Take a blanket or lawn chair outside early Tuesday morning, August 13th. Lie back with your feet facing northeast. Then slowly scan the sky as long as possible because the longer you stay out, the better your chance of seeing a few bright Perseids. And while you're waiting for something to happen, there are a couple of planets over in this direction to help give you something else to watch. The bright light you'll see close to the horizon is the giant planet Jupiter, and down to its left is the red planet Mars. But please leave your telescopes packed up because this meteor watching event is for your naked eye. And let me give you the single most important rule for observing a meteor shower, which is you must constantly scan the sky and have patience. You may see no meteors for 20 minutes or so, then all of a sudden, two or three may flash by all at once. But each time you see a Perseid streak across the sky, remind yourself that what you're actually seeing is a tiny piece of comet litter plunging to its fiery death. Head for the shower. Keep, Keep looking, looking up. up.